Okay, hello everybody, and welcome to episode 7 of Building Freeport, the series where I build cities from my book in the game City Skylines, and say the word cities many, many times. <clears throat> so today is, well, I guess uh, I'm continuing as opposed to loading. Today uh, is episode 7, uh, and for those of you who have been following along, you will know that uh, Freeport is in a bit of a, bit of a, uh, it's having some issues, let's just say that. <clears throat> I was a little too gung-ho, I think, <clears throat> when I uh, first decided to try this series. Um, I had not played uh, this game at all before jumping right into the series, so I figured I would sort of learn as I go. Well, turns out I haven't learned uh, very much, as you're going to see <clears throat> rather quickly. Uh, everyone's real grumpy. Uh, let me show you what I mean. Yeah, those are all abandoned buildings, so... <clears throat> Sorry, allergies. Uh, everyone is uh, moving out. Yes, my population is technically increasing, and you'll see I've got some nice neighborhoods going, but uh, yeah, all in all, uh, everyone is more or less leaving and or unhappy, so I don't really know how to fix that. I'm gonna kinda, I'm still learning as I go along, but uh, I figure the best way to go ahead and do this is to continue building. Uh, what I know. So let me just sort of give you an overview for those of you who haven't maybe uh, been watching at all. This is uh, Freeport City from uh, my first book, End of the Past. It's as close in scale to the actual city as I can get. Um, I went uh, as close to a one-to-one -one since uh, the grids, I forget the exact size, but uh, the actual blocks I think are one or two kilometers um, in the game. Uh, so I was able to measure it pretty quickly, and in the book, the city is four square um, miles, so the wall out here pretty much is uh, four square miles, so it's pretty accurate, but the problem is that as I've been building, I've noticed that I haven't been able to quite recreate what I was hoping for, but that's okay, because as I keep doing this and learning, uh, I can always improve it, uh, and eventually I figure uh, what I'm going to do is once I get everything laid out, I'm gonna come back to it, uh, some of the places and sort of tweak the roads and some of the other things that I've been uh, working on to make them a little bit more precise. So I'm just sort of hoping to get the, I guess, not the outline, I've got the outline done. I actually spent a lot of time on that. And for those of you who have watched, I did have to carve out. I did start with, uh, the very first episode was actually doing the landscaping. Uh, so I did have to start there. You know, I'm actually going to turn the audio down because it might be a little bit too high. Um, I don't want it to drown out everything I'm saying, so it just looks like I'm... That wouldn't really be great. A little bit quieter. Yeah, that should be good. <clears throat> oh, hey, Naga. What's going on? How are you? I was just explaining how uh, Freeport's pretty much a nightmare. Yeah, everyone hates my city, by the way. Um, and every I don't mean everyone as in people who watch the stream. I mean... All the poor saps who were forced to live uh, in the city um, really don't like the city. Uh, they're real grumpy about things. Right now, I am just placing the uh, arena, which... <laughs> How do you know I enter before I say anything? Because uh, it, sh <laughs> it shows... Uh, Welcome to the chat room. Your friend Nogastorm1 just started watching, and it shows a little wavy thing. So, uh, I don't know how or why. I I haven't actually placed any um, of the uh, plugins for Twitch yet. I uh, haven't actually put any of those in, so I think it's a default setting. I don't know why or how it does it. Uh, sorry, just getting a notification here over my antivirus for some reason. But yeah, I don't know why it does that. I don't have any plugins or, you know, anything. Yeah, Twitch. Blame it on Twitch. Well, apparently, um, White Guardian is always getting... <coughs> White Guardian's always getting ads... I don't know if uh, you get ads when you start watching. Do you get ads? I'm curious <clears throat> if you get ads. If everyone does or if it's just White Guardian who is cursed to uh, watch some real bad ads every time. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, you do? Well, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. I don't know how to fix that. But uh, how familiar are you with uh, Twitch in general? 
I'm uh, curious. I know that you do, um, you know, obviously I've watched some of your streams before. <laughs> well, I don't get to pick which ads. At least I don't think there's a way. That'd be kind of fun if I could tailor ads. But, uh, yeah, I don't think so. But how familiar are you with Twitch in general? I, uh, I do, because I do have a question depending on what you answer. Hopefully it's a good movie, though, right? <laughs> I mean, if it's an interesting movie, I guess that's okay. <laughs> that's funny, though. I guess uh, TV, or movie ads kind of makes sense. <laughs> the reason I ask about um, how much you know about Twitch is that I want to start looking at some of the... Uh, you know the plugins? Oh, actually, let me, uh, I can't quite see the chat over here. Let me just, uh, okay, there we go. <clears throat> All I know is the transit button and do whatever the heck I <laughs> but ask away. Okay, well, I was just curious if you actually run any of the uh, plugins um, or anything like that, you know, some of the uh, moderation plugins or anything else like that that you can download or install into uh, um, your Twitch stream. I don't have any of those, and I think that I've been doing this long enough that it's time I start sort of looking into that and I was just curious if you had any input on ones that you use or you have seen people use that work really well so that's all I was asking <clears throat> you know um, like let me uh, I have I saved a few in my browser that uh, let me just tell you what I'm talking about just a sec I'm looking up uh, on Chrome really quick things like this so this is what I was talking about you know plugins and bots like that that would help the stream. I was just curious if you have any that you've seen people use that you like if you don't even if you don't use any uh, specifically on your own. Oops. Just because I think it's time that I start uh, looking into stuff like that, you know, to try and make the stream a little bit more flair and pizzazz because I can't always do Kerbal raves uh, like yesterday on Kerbal. Um, you know, I can't always have the flashing techno music. So yeah, I just... Uh, Curious if you know of any that you like that I could uh, take a look at, or should take a look at, I should say. Because that would make things very, very helpful and easy for me. I mean, not that it's too bad. Actually, one of the things that I do need to work on next is I want to sort of, uh, I don't have any bots. All I have is the Discord bots for my streaming channel. Okay. <laughs> Well, uh, you know, on the people that you watch or, you know, follow or follow you, ask around. I'm just sort of curious to see. I mean, I checked some Reddit threads uh, to see what were popular, and that's one that came up. But, you know, obviously I trust people that uh, I know as opposed to some random Reddit. Thing. So, you know, if, uh, just in the future. Also, could you turn the music down? Yes. I already did that. I didn't know that it was still up really loud. Let me go ahead and do that. Yeah, look how low the main volume is. That's weird that it's so loud. Uh, let me actually do that in OBS. Um, like how much? By half or just a smidge? That should, uh, let me know if that's any better. I was curious. I'm going to keep talking over the music and uh, tell me if it sounds like it's any better. Is that, I'm just going to keep saying things until I hear you so that, or I see uh, um, what you say, <clears throat> if it's any better or not. Hopefully it helped. Yeah, it's really hard to tell sometimes because obviously I turn the audio down. Um, I don't have my Twitch audio up when I'm watching the uh, um, comments and everything. So I don't really know where the volume is. And Kerbal and um, Cities both have a little bit of different uh, volume levels. I guess I can't just go straight through everything. It's okay without music. What I meant was good options music. Yeah, well, I had the master volume. You saw that the master volume was uh, down all the way to 9, so I can't really turn the game volume down too much. I think it was just I had my um, audio capture too high on OBS. I think that was the problem. So if it fixed it, uh, I'll just keep it where it is and remember that for the future. <clears throat> So, yeah, hopefully that's good. <clears throat> but uh, have you uh, done any uh, battle mode yet uh, on Mario Kart? I'm curious to see what you think of it. Because last time uh, you were talking... <clears throat> uh, last time 
you were talking about it. You uh, said you hadn't um, you hadn't played uh, any of the battle modes yet. Have you gotten around to the battle modes on Mario Kart yet? I tried. I suck. I'm assuming that meant you played online as opposed to with your friends who you can easily beat, right? <laughs> Is uh, the online community really that brutal already? Yeah, you got to turn on Anarchy for that. I hope that when Linda and I start playing that it's not just absolute chaos. Oh, with the bots, okay. <laughs> Have you tried it online yet? Uh, I'm just curious how, how uh, well everyone plays. Linda and I did get pretty good on um, all the others. Um, I just hope that it's not only the diehards, you know, the hardcore people who play that, like uh, the people who play Overwatch or uh, Battlefront um, who play online. I know that it does sort of pair you with people your skill level, but even still. And yes, I played some races. They're merciless. Well, uh, that's okay. Uh, you and I can play, you know, as long as uh, we can play each other when I get it, I think it'll be safe. But that's, uh, that's funny that they're just, you know, Mario Kart brings out the worst in people. You know, it's not the first person shooters. It's not Battlefield or uh, Overwatch, right? Or I just suck. Uh, no, I think it is the uh, community. I have a feeling that people are... The people who, you know, bought a Switch already and are into Mario Kart Deluxe, I have a feeling are the ones that are really, really into Mario Kart. So, <laughs> I have a feeling it's uh, you're a little bit good. But uh, which battle mode was your favorite? Um, I have a few that I was interested in, but I don't know which ones, uh, you know, I'm going to end up liking. Which ones did you like the most? So this is high density commercial that we're working on here. Let me take a look here. Um, let's see. So I'm going to divide this in little blocks a little bit because this is the commercial zone, the major commercial zone in the game or the book. <laughs> let's hear the story. I'm always up for uh, good uh, game stories. How did you get Mario Kart 8? <clears throat> Yeah, I can't wait to hear this. I, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of any um, fun game stories that I have about uh, ones that I had. did one with the bots, the classical one, and played one Renegade online. Which one is, uh, I'll have to look up the mode so I know which ones you're talking about. Let's see, am I missing any squares over here? Um, and this is actually supposed to be low density commercial along here, so let's go ahead and add that. Um, all along the, you know, nobody lives along here. The idea here is that, um, you know, there are a lot of shops along the port there in the walkway. So that's why I'm making that all resident, or commercial rather. The low density though. The Renegade is the one with the team. Oh, oh yeah, the Piranha Plant one. Okay. <clears throat> I uh, I want to do that, uh, the sun, or let's see, what is it? The sunshine one, you know, where you're supposed to keep it for like 20 or 30 seconds. Sort of like tag, I think. That one looks fun to me. Um, I have a feeling Linda's gonna like the pure battle. Um, she gets pretty, uh, pretty ruthless. Uh, we also have, uh, one of our best friends comes over to play it with. I think I told you this before, but, um, you know, we'll do local, uh, and we'll have three or four people, and one of Linda's friends, oh my gosh, she has the worst Mario Kart Road Rage I have ever seen. It is so funny to watch her play. Whenever she starts playing, she just starts, like, screaming at all the... Um, computer players. It's so funny to watch. She has serious Mario Kart road rage. And then we don't like to let her drive home after because uh, <laughs> she carries that with her, we'll say. But yeah, Linda likes the, uh, you know, hardcore, like, balloon battle um, where you're shooting people. The coin battle, too. We like that. That was on the Wii one, wasn't it? The uh, coin battle. I th uh, that's what I want to say is that coin battle, the last one that was on um, was the Wii version. Not the Wii U, obviously, but uh, so I guess it would be Mario Kart 6, I think. Am I somewhere on the right track, do you know? I th think that sounds right. Okay, let's get back over here and work on more of the residential neighborhoods. What do I have? Is that, yeah, small. <clears throat> Connect that over to the parks area. Of course, we destroy the power lines. But yeah, you'll notice uh, that my city is full of real unhappy people. 
and I don't know how to fix that. So take a look at how terrible this is. Like everybody is just abandoning their buildings and I have to keep fixing this over and over. I feel like a terrible deity slash mayor person. I'm just, everyone hates my city and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I have plenty of really nice things. Uh, I mean, I've even got the parks district down here and some wonders and everything, but everyone's just really, really grumpy. And I don't know how to fix uh, my really miserable people. I think I actually have to make sure these are super dense since this is uh, one of the major residential areas. If you know how to make people not be miserable, go ahead and let me know. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> I am going to take... Let's see, so I went to get my game at tech store out of stock. I didn't uh, want to get it on the Nintendo eShop uh, to not waste space. Yeah, since the Wii U. Um, you're talk are you talking about uh, the Switch version or the original um, version, just so I know here? I didn't want to get it on the eShop, so I went to the hypermarket, and there it was. So I bought it. They told me to go to the assistant desk, get the game. They told me to go to the guard on the entrance desk, and I went home. All in the same mall. Jeez, you got the run around. <laughs> Was that the Switch one or the original one? Because I didn't notice if you said uh, deluxe or not. That's, uh, <laughs> I love game stories. I love uh, hassles trying to find them. I know that I have some good... Uh, um, oh, oh, I have one for you after you answer that. Um, I will tell you my story, the Switch one. Oh, really? So that just happened recently. Wow. Um, so have you played uh, Neo um, by chance? Uh, let me know if you have. If not, regardless of if you have or not, I'll uh, tell you the story. But let me know if you played Neo. Also, want to know how to make people happy. I'm assuming you mean in the game, but yes, I would love to know how to make people happy because everyone just keeps leaving. And you'll notice that I do have it. Uh, no, uh, let me... Sorry, if the screen light starts moving around randomly, it's because when I move the cursor off my windowed screen, it just keeps moving in that direction. Let me show you what I mean. <clears throat> this Neo... Let's see, where is it? That. That, Neo. Esports Stadium. Is there one in here? <laughs> I mean, I have uh, other stadiums. I have um, athletic stuff, but an esports stadium, that would be pretty cool. Where was I working? I was working over here, wasn't I? Yeah. I was doing the roads here. Is it exclusive to PS4? I don't remember if it is or not. But anyway, so that game, um, I think that when it came out, so I am, as uh, I've mentioned before, I'm a huge Dark Souls fan, points to the statue. I don't think you can actually see that with the camera right now, can you? Can you see my Dark Souls statue up there? Or uh, is the banner in the way? I think the banner might be in the way. I will let you know once I see what you say. <clears throat> the banner's in the way. Um, yeah, actually, let me go grab it. It's really cool. Hold on a sec. Let me get my headphones on just a moment. <clears throat> yeah, so I got the collector's edition of... Uh, Dark Souls 3 when it came out with this awesome Soul of Cinder statue. I love it. Yeah, because uh, I'm major, major Souls fan. But anyway, <clears throat> and it's super heavy too, that statue, by the way. It's not like it's hollow. It's, uh, it's really solid. I really like it. But I'm a huge Souls fan, so uh, when Neo is very much like the Dark Souls games, so when it came out, I was all over trying to find it. You know, I, I knew I was going to get it when it launched. Well, I think when they were um, making the physical copies, they really didn't anticipate it selling a huge quantity. So there were hardly any physical copies. Um, I ended up calling every single... So they checked every single Best Buy... Um, every single Walmart. Now I want a pat upon statue. Uh, oh, I speaking of statues, I'll show you what I really want as soon as I finish the story. So I called Best Buy. No Best Buy in the state had it. No Target in the state had it. 
Um, no Toys R Us in the state had it. No Walmart in the state had it. No Smith's Marketplace in the state had it. Nowhere had it. And they didn't know when they would get it in. Um, to order it uh, online from Best Buy, they said it would be like a month delay. I went randomly to a Target one day. They had one copy in. And this was like three or four days after release. And it was the only place in the whole state that had a copy. So I walked away with the only copy of Neo that like existed in the whole state anywhere um, right after its launch. And it took almost, I want to say two or three weeks before the game was actually in stock everywhere else. So I was so lucky to find that because I really, I like to collect physical uh, copies of games. I hate um, downloading and it, I just, uh, you know, I like to have the, the games in hand. Uh, so I really wanted to get the physical copy. I was this close to downloading it, um, but then I was at a Target and I found it. So I was so happy to find it. I It was like literally the only one in the state. I was so lucky. I was, and I went home and played it like all night. So it's a great game, by the way. If you ever get a PS4, it's a lot of fun. But let me show you what statue I want. Let's see, where is it? I, uh, I don't think I favorited it, just a sec. Um, okay, I think it's right. Here we go. I think you will appreciate this too. Let me know if uh, you <laughs> get the link here. And tell me what you think. Let's see, um, housing. So I'm just trying to figure this out. It should work. I don't know why it's not. Let me see if I can do that with Anarchy. But yeah, that's what I really want. <laughs> I know, right? Aren't those the best? Uh-oh. That looks like a mess. Yeah. That's kind of a disaster. There we go. And they have a ton of them. Did you actually scroll through some of those? Uh, they have some of the planets and the moons and everything. They're really, really cool. I love those. <laughs> I just did the same thing because I'm so smart today. Yeah, no worries. I will be here. <laughs> does that work or does that destroy? Oh no, that works. Okay, good. So um, while Naga is away, I will continue to explain um, what I'm working on. I wanna fill out, this area here is one of the major residential districts in uh, um, the book. So I need to make sure that there's plenty of housing here. Okay, that was quick. <laughs> and yes, I know these aren't entirely straight. Actually, let me turn off Anarchy. Do they make Patapon statues or is that just one of those things where you're like, oh man, I would love to have one of those if they actually existed. Uh, if they make the statues or any figurines of Patapon, uh, send me a link. I want to take a look at them. Because like I said, I still have yet to buy Patapon, but one of my best friends uh, um, played it a lot, so I did get a chance to see it. But yeah, post a link if you've got one. I want to see. There we go. So I was saying before you joined that I... Because not everything is actually absolutely perfect to uh, how it should look in the book, because uh, I didn't know enough about this game when I started it to really do it well, is once everything's really well developed and uh, people aren't miserable and moving out, um, then I'm going to go back and sort of tweak uh, tweak the city to make sure everything's you know really perfect. So the idea here is that I'm really building the major uh, framework for the city, and then um, once I get close to being finished, then I'm going to go back and sort of really make sure it looks good. Uh, and fix the whole miserable people problem because uh, he, we got a few of those. A whole bunch of miserable people. And that doesn't look quite right. <clears throat> So have you been um, playing Breath of the Wild very much or have you switched over to Mario Kart mostly? Let's see, and then I need to do the cross streets. Oh, whoops. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at your link. Let's see. What have we here? <laughs> I 
<laughs> That's pretty much how everyone in my city feels. Bunch of real sad people. No figurines. Oh, okay. <laughs> But yeah, have you been uh, playing Zelda much lately? Let's see. So this is uh, more commercial, so I want to make bigger streets here. So more room for people to park. <clears throat> Actually, I want it a little bit closer. <clears throat> okay, that... Yeah, that looks good want some that are pretty close oh okay yeah i uh, i actually haven't um been playing breath of the wild i know that it's like inner or it's like gaming sacrilege to say but i've actually been playing ukulele more than i've been playing zelda i know it's like i feel almost feel ashamed to admit it <laughs> but uh since i got uh, ukulele around easter um that's what i've been playing uh because i'm just having so much fun with it and I totally suggest when it comes out on the Switch that you pick it up. If you have any small love, any sort of love of uh, platformers at all, um, you totally need to pick it up. Because it is coming out on Switch. They did, I, if I remember correctly, they did announce it for the Switch. I don't know exactly when, um, but I'm pretty sure that it is coming out on the Switch. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Zelda's good. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's probably going to be, you know, game of the year for me and everyone else. Uh, but I've just been playing uh, um, ukulele. I just, I think the reason I haven't been playing Zelda as much as ukulele is because it's been so long since uh, I've had a really good uh, platformer. I mean, I can't remember, I mean, 3D platformer. Uh, I can't remember. Can you think of any noteworthy platformers that have come out in the past couple years on, you know, any platform? Because honestly, I don't think there have been any. I mean, really, it, it's like I actually have to stop and sort of think about that. Let me know if you have, if you can think of any. Because uh, now, actually, I'm curious. I have to go check uh, some sort of release list on GameFAX or something. But yeah, I've always been uh, really, really into uh, platformers. Um, so whenever I get a chance to play something good, I jump on it heh <laughs> pun intended get it jump platformer the pun started think about i was distracted uh i was just saying uh, the reason i've been playing uh, ukulele more than zelda is because um, i'm just such a fan of platformers and there and i couldn't think of any really good platformers that have come out um over the past couple of years and i was wondering if you if you know of any you know, any Mario-like um, platformers on any system, really. Other than Steam. Let me mention other than Steam, because I haven't, uh, you know, I haven't had a computer that can play games up until the beginning of this year. So other than PC games, um, are there any good platformers that have come out? 3D platformers. Because right, I, I really can't think of many. And I was saying that's why I've been playing ukulele more than Zelda is just because it's something so fresh or something that I like so much that I haven't had much of over the past uh, few years. I've been having to go to uh, my local used game store to find a bunch of um, platformers from uh, the Super NES up to the PlayStation 2 era. <coughs> that's how I've had to get my uh, platformer fix. But yeah, I really don't know of any um, the, any major platformers that have been released. Yeah, I know. I mean, there have been like 2D things that have been sort of like that. A lot of really t good 2D games, especially indie games, you know, on the PlayStation Network and uh, Xbox Live and on Steam. But uh, as far as real 3D platformers, I think Ukulele is one of the only ones. And if anyone knows of any, you know, in the comments section, let me know because uh, I always want to pick some up, but I just can't think of any. <clears throat> So what, uh, <clears throat> what's on your major uh, release list for this year? What are you really looking forward to that has yet to come out this year? As far as games, I mean. Are there any major, major uh, uh, releases that you're looking forward to? 
because uh, there are quite a few things that it, um, towards the end of the year that I'm excited about. Tag Nabbit, why is everyone leaving uh, Splatoon 2? Yeah, that. Uh, do they have a release date on that? That's sometime this summer, right? I want to say like June or July. <clears throat> I'm not sure the exact date, but I know that's, I think it's June or July, isn't it? At least I'm pretty sure. I I never played the first one. Um, Arms, yeah, that looks cool. Um, I don't know why I never played the first uh, Splatoon. I think part of the problem is that I watched so much of that. Um, I watched people streaming it, and I watched speedruns of that so much that I was like, oh, yeah, I've pretty much seen uh, everything there is to the game, and I just ended up letting it slip by, which is weird because I was such a big fan of my uh, Wii U. Um, you know, I still have it hooked up, but... Um, I love my Wii U so much, so I really don't know why I never picked that up. Um, but I will be uh, looking into Splatoon 2 when it comes out, so um, definitely going to pick that one up. <clears throat> Did you ever play the uh, uh, first Red Dead Redemption by chance? I know you uh, don't have a PS4, but did you ever get around to uh, Red Dead on any other console? Let's see, how are we looking? That's getting pretty dense. I think it's about time to let... Oh, actually, I need to check my plumbing. Just like... Uh, besides that, I'm just saving for other things. Also, no on Red Dead. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to Red Dead 2, um, which is probably going to come out around Christmas time this year. Uh, that's something that I'm really, really looking forward to. Uh, I had a ton of fun with um, the first one. Well, I shouldn't say the first one, because Red Dead Revolver came out on the PlayStation 2, and that was, I guess, technically... Um, the first one in the series but i never played that i did play uh red dead redemption that was a lot of fun i loved it was actually it gave me very much a you know now playing zelda a, a zelda vibe because you could go hunt and that's one of the things i like to do in zelda just you know go out into the wilderness and hunt for bears <clears throat> speaking of bears there are bears in zelda right i'm not making that up i do i actually remember bears or am i just did i dream that Okay, I'm going to press... Oh, let me fix this plumbing, and then I'm going to... <clears throat> I don't know. I'm pretty sure there are bears in Zelda. I don't know if that's like... You know, sometimes in, when you play games too much and you dream about them, you don't know if you're actually dreaming something or if you actually remember something about the game. But please, yes, please what? Let's see. Um, <clears throat> probably... Actually getting sort of low on availability. I think I'm okay. <clears throat> okay, let's press play and start uh, bulldozing some of these sad little homes, or sad little buildings. Oops. Forget it. No, what's up? <laughs> Please, uh, what uh, what's up? Go ahead and ask or say away. Okay, as I get rid of all these abandoned buildings. All these... <laughs> This whole area is so sad. It's not like this in the book, really. Everyone's actually a little bit happier. And why is there no water? Oh, we have major issues on our hand. I couldn't, oh. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> but you can share them with, uh, with me on Twitter now that I actually created my Twitter profile thanks to you. <laughs> or my Twitter account, I should say. Not sure exactly how you, you would do that. But yeah, if you ever want to share something with me on Twitter, just go ahead. Um, because obviously that's an easy way to do it. So why is there no water? I thought I gave all these people water. And the, oh, availability went down really, really low. Um, well, I guess uh, it's time to give them a bit more water. I'm going to keep it near the road. Um, so that's the incoming and now i need okay i <laughs> oh boy i just saw waluigi in the link title <laughs> uh, i'm gonna take a look as soon as i uh connect these really quick good old waluigi <clears throat> just a sec let me connect these since it uh, is actually playing oh boy <laughs> yeah we speaking of waluigi i guess because waluigi and puns are related we need more puns today there haven't been enough. I did one. That was it. One pun is not enough. And that was even a weak pun. <clears throat> okay, just a sec. Let me power this bad boy up. 
then I'm going to take a look at your uh, Waluigi link. Why won't that cross the street? There we go. Okay, power away. Um, does that not have power? Oh, it's just the end of that. Okay, we should be good. Okay, coming over to see what your Waluigi... No, oh, it's your class. <laughs> yes, good old... Uh... <laughs> I'm all dry. <clears throat> Oh, Waluigi. Uh, you know what? I need a. I haven't actually bookmarked that. I'm going to bookmark that uh, because that's just too good um, to not see. <laughs> oh, good old Waluigi. Uh, okay, here's another question for you. Do you uh, have you or do you play any of the Mario Party games? You know, since we're on a Nintendo and Mario slash Waluigi. Um, kick today. Net, are you into any of the uh, Mario Kart games by chance? Or Mario Party, sorry. <clears throat> As I uh, have to go through and get rid of all these. <clears throat> really? You haven't actually... I'm uh, I'm surprised you like uh, Mario Kart so much. I haven't played it. Wow, that's... Uh, I'm actually surprised. Um, because that's another one of those games that uh, it's, you know, a lot of fun for parties and Linda and I and my cousin, we, uh, you know, we'll play together. Yeah, I'm surprised you haven't. Uh, it's totally worth picking some of those up. I know not all of them are super great. Uh, I've never, I should mention, I've never played any of the um, 3DS, or the uh, handheld ones, Sony consoles, and yet you don't have a PS4. <laughs> That's funny, you grew up with Sony consoles, and now you don't have a PS4, but you do have a Switch. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Yeah, totally pick some of those up, though. They're uh, a lot of fun. If you just like to, you know, have some of your friends over um, and hang out playing games, they're totally perfect for that. But I have not played any of the handheld ones. I've heard those are absolute rubbish. Um, so I don't really want to try them. 3DS and the Switch. <clears throat> Do you have any uh, recommendations for 3DS games? Um, I finally beat Pokemon uh, Sun. Uh, so I'm looking for something. What are friends? <laughs> what are friends? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I've heard of friends before. I'm not sure. All of mine moved away, so uh, not quite sure. <laughs> but yeah, do you have any uh, 3DS uh, game recommendations? I have a pretty big library, but if there's anything that uh, I might have missed, let me know because I'm always looking for something new. I did finish... Uh, is that a road? What is that? Huh. Um, I finished Pokemon, and I sort of put Dragon uh, Dragon Quest on hold for a little while because I dumped 68 hours into that, and I'm only halfway done. It's insane. I don't know how I could put more time into that. Monster... Oh, yeah, I've actually... Uh, I, I asked for that... Uh, so Linda and I get games for each other for uh, birthdays and Christmas. That's usually when we do most of our games... Um, I asked for that, and it was just one of those that slipped away, but I've never played that. But I've heard that it's sort of like uh, the Souls games. I mean, just to a, a little bit of a, you know, a small degree, but um, I'm sure I could find that pretty cheap. Is uh, 4 Ultimate the best? Because there are two or three on the 3DS, aren't there? I don't remember all the names of... Uh, where's the abandoned building? I don't remember the names of all of the ones on the 3DS, or the DS, I should... DS slash 3DS, but is uh, 4 Ultimate the best one to go to? I haven't played any of those before, so I'm a complete beginner, um, by the way. So obviously I know that some of them are easier to get into than others, I've heard. Okay, is that all of the... That's the only one I played, and I played it for a bit. <clears throat> What's abandoned here? Jeez. Okay, is that all of the abandoned buildings? Oh, that's... Not good. Everyone's just suddenly out of power because that, you know, makes lots of sense. Uh, wow, this, our water availability is really, really awful. Um, I wonder if I can put a pumping station in the lake. I know there isn't one in the book, but obviously the demands from the uh, city are a little higher than I thought they would be. Uh, let's see. Where do I want to put this? <clears throat> I'm having some major flow issues. 
as you'll notice a uh, bunch of big poo water there because it's not flowing for some reason so we have a big old dirty water problem right there minecraft <clears throat> ratchet and clank ah yes ratchet and clank and loco roco oh yeah i uh i've heard about that i don't know much about loco roco okay we're going to do much much water here because everyone's really running out let's see hopefully that fixes the availability i don't know what's going on with that and i think the sewage yeah sewage is good yeah i don't think we have any sewage issues okay we always have sewage issues since we've got big old stinky turd water up here yeah i didn't know that would happen by the way <laughs> when i was putting these i don't know why it's just collecting big toilet there but uh, hopefully that's okay i guess you know what i'm excited for though uh is that kerbal expansion I hope that comes out soon this summer. I really want that Kerbal expansion to come out. Obviously, uh, the Evolution um, mod has been keeping me super busy with Kerbal. All you need to about... <laughs> Send me a link. I want to see. <laughs> My goods. Uh, okay, what was I doing? Power. Um, we are not getting power, so I need some windmills. Where can I put these that they make sense? Because, uh, like I was saying, I want to try and keep this as close to the book as possible. But <clears throat> I I need more power than I would imag I imagined I would. Um, maybe I'll do some on the... Where do you suggest I put some of these windmills in the city? Do you have any suggestions or ideas in a place that it would uh, look appropriate? Maybe I'll just have to do them all outside the city here. I wonder if I can just if that would help at all. I wonder if that'll feed into uh, the rest of it. Let me play, press play and see if that fixes the power. Yeah, that looks like it's fixing it. Okay, great. Okay, I'm gonna check your link out. <clears throat> Let me take a look. When did this come out? Uh, a little while ago. I'm watching the trailer really quick. <laughs> Is this is this on the PSV? Yeah, now I'm remembering a little bit more about it. That music is amazing. <laughs> Cause uh, <clears throat> when I was saying that I was looking for a 3DS game, I should I'll, I should mention that it doesn't have to be 3DS. I'm just looking for a handheld game. I have no idea, but I love it. Yeah, I'll have to see if it's on the PSV because I would totally go and download that tonight. Because uh, I'm looking for something, like I said, for the handhelds. Um, uh, I need something now that I beat Pokemon. Um, so if that... Yeah, I'll have to see if it's on the PSV and I'll go ahead and download it. I'm sure it's not going to be too expensive if it is, you know. I wonder if I can put a windmill around. Uh, there aren't windmills in the... <coughs> In the parks area, where should I put the windmills? Um, this is actually trickier than I thought. Uh, because <clears throat> in the city in the book, there aren't a uh, huge number of windmills like actually in the city. Uh, I need to find a good place to put these that would look appropriate. I wonder if I can just dump a few more here out on the outskirts of the town if that would uh, fix my power issue. <clears throat> Get pat upon for the PSV. Do it. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to go check it on the store tonight. Uh, I, because like I said, I need something. Okay, they're still not getting power. Is it that they're not connected? Let me see if they're not connected here. Oh, yeah, that might actually be it. They're not connected to the main grid. <clears throat> Let me see if that fixes it. Hey, all we needed was a power line. Because reasons, I guess. So does that mean everyone's happy? Plenty of electricity, right? Okay, we're good. And now everyone's getting ready to throw up. A bunch of real sick people. See, my city is just completely giving away from me. Everyone hates me. They're all sick, and they're leaving their homes. 
because I'm apparently a terrible mayor. So you think Patapon over uh, Loco Roco then? Let's see, where do I need to put this? What, so why does it say they need it if I have plenty of coverage? <clears throat> Wait, that's crime, duh. What am I, I meant. Um, oh, okay, yeah, so there is some need for it. Where's my hospital? Okay, I'm gonna put another hospital. That's two, okay. I'll take a look at that after I put another hospital up here. <clears throat> Does that make everyone happy? Good. I didn't know I would need so many hospitals here. It's crazy. And why do they not? Why are they not getting power? Uh oh. Okay, I'll take a look as soon as I fix yet another issue. Okay, that should. Let me turn anarchy on really quick. That should help. Okay, it still doesn't help. Um, we can go that way. Okay, and we're just gonna make this complicated okay i'm gonna take so you think i should start with two or three let me take a look here really quick oh geez that's crazy <laughs> it's given me a pikmin vibe uh number two uh, number two is giving me a Pikmin vibe. You know, when you're hurling all your little uh, Pikmin everywhere. Yeah, I'm going to go uh, tonight. I'll take a look and see how much uh, two is. Uh, since I do need something uh, to play. So I will report back uh, next time I stream on uh, whether I was able to get it or not. Oh. Water treatment, um, here we go. So I don't need to start with one then uh, to know what's going on. I'm judging by what it looks like. It doesn't look like there's a uh, super major story, but I won't be missing out if I just skip one then. Okay, let's see. Uh, more abandoned, whoa, 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 whoa. No, that's not what I meant. Wait, why doesn't that have power? Are those really all abandoned? Oh my gosh, everyone hates my city. Okay, there is plenty of power. Why can I do, but I can tell. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, tell me. <clears throat> why are they not getting power? Oh, good heavens. I have a real sad city. Okay, how can I connect this to the grid? Frustration. I wish I knew this game better. <laughs> um, let's put some... So these are windows. We're going to put some up here um, by the gate. And hopefully this helps a little bit. Yeah, to go ahead and tell me the story while I uh, type it out while I'm trying to connect this to the grid. Okay, does that fix... So the grid comes up there. Let me run this over here. Okay, so this should fix it. And okay, is that going to fix it? Power, power, there we go. Why are you sick? I just gave you, <laughs> I just gave you a, uh, uh, a hospital. Why is everyone so sick? So they have plenty of coverage. Oh my, my city is going downhill very, very quickly. Why are you sick? Citizens are sick. Well, why are they sick? I want to bang my head against the table. Well, stop eating garbage, maybe. And there are dead people everywhere. <clears throat> um... What am I missing here? Why are they sick? Why are they dying? Well, just bury your own dead bodies. That's what backyards are for. Right? Backyards are for daring, burying your dead. I mean, if you bury hamsters and gerbils and your dogs in your backyard, why not your people too? So let's see, cemetery usage, crematorium availability, all of that's really good. <clears throat> I don't know why they're sick. <clears throat> Let me try 
another hospital over here and see if that... Okay, is that going to fix the sick issue? Guess I need four hospitals in a tiny little neighborhood. Bunch of sick people eating trash all day. Bunch of dumpster people. Okay, why are you not taking your dead somewhere? <clears throat> a dead person is waiting for transport. Well, maybe you should transport them. I have cemeteries, right? Piles up. Okay, well, maybe you should throw your garbage out more than once every two weeks. That would help. Bunch of dirty people. No wonder they're sick. They're just piling their garbage up every two weeks. Um, let's see. What can I... Um... Looks like I have everything I need. I really don't know what's going on with that. Uh, let's see. Another cemetery, maybe? People like cemeteries. Okay, I'm going to read your post. Let's see. Let me put another cemetery here. And where's the crematorium? Um, medical clinic, cemetery. Oh, there we are. Okay, uh, Padavan Tribe using the four mystical drums to command your army on your mission to lead them uh, to the end of the world. On your way, you'll find zones to hunt, zones to slay beasts, and zones to fight your enemy tribe, the, the Zigapons. You make it uh, as your boat fails, to sail, your Padapons get lost. All except for three and one important character um, from the four Padapons meeting up in a desert island forward. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Little Padapon. I like Zigapons. That's an awesome name. The little Zigapons. Did I not zone this? If I had my uh, PSV by me, I'd go ahead and check it out right now. Uh, so we need housing. Crossroads and intersections are too close to each other. It can cause congestion. Well, if people are burying their, not even burying their dead, um, I don't think I need to worry about some traffic. Whoa, that's not the angle I wanted. There we go. I wish uh, that would go on sale on um, uh, for uh, PlayStation Plus. You know how they always do the free games each uh, each month. I wish that would go on sale. I'm sure it has at some point, and I just never realized it. Okay, is this everything covered? I would think that fresh water is basic stuff. Uh, you have working pipes. Where are the pipes not working? Okay, you guys have water. Bunch of whiners. And you're sick again. <laughs> okay, this is uh, not going well, is it? Um, why can't I build those? Yeah, I wish it was uh, free. Also, the Zigapons are commanded, but they're Commander Gong. <laughs> What else do I need to demolish? So, do you know how to make people not leave my city and get sick? Because I'm having a real hard time with that. It looks like I have plenty of cemeteries. Uh, and I have plenty of uh, health care. I mean, look at my health care. Okay, maybe it's not as good as I thought it was, but still. There we go. Um... Yeah, I have no idea how to make everyone happy. What am I doing wrong? Oops. You need a lot more than I thought in this game. It's actually crazy how little um, area it covers, you know? Wait, did I say Zigapons? I meant Zigatons. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can see how you'd get, you know, those your Zigatons and Zigapons confused. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, that needs power. Um, that would probably... Okay, where are we going to connect it from? Let's just uh, cut across here. Why? Why? Okay, let me bulldoze that really quick. My cat was just saved by a smoke detector. Well, good on your cat. Here we 
go. Looks like I have to delete this one too. Yeah, just some floating power lines, that works. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's gonna give them power. Let me run some lines up here. Okay. And... Yes, I wish you knew how to help me with my disaster of a city. Everyone's so mad and sick and dying. So at the end of Patapon 1, I guess both tribes are uh, able to build... <laughs> they all die. Well, that's... Uh, <laughs> spoiler for two. Yeah, go ahead. As long as it's you think it's appropriate to spoil. <laughs> that's funny. How did they all die? That's sad. They're too, they're too uh, funny looking to die. There we go. Okay, what else do we need to... Oh, that still needs power. Let's run some lines down this way. Cross the street. Gong lives. Uh, let's see. Okay, now uh, now you've sold me on it. Um, is that working? Yeah, I'll go check it tonight to see how much it is. I hope it, you know, if it's like ten bucks or something, that'll be perfect. <clears throat> I wish it was on the PlayStation Plus uh, free for this month. That would be very very appropriate. No workers, no, no people. <clears throat> also, pat upon looking cracking. Okay, let's see the pat upon looking cracking. <laughs> yeah, I remember the music from the first one uh, when my friend was playing it how funny that was it does have distinct music i will give it that and it's awesome too i can kind of imagine uh, the kerbals listening to something like that can't you when they're uh, in their little spaceships i mean that music just sort of fits what i picture uh, all our little kerbal buddies listening to <laughs> i mean you can kind of see it can't you the Kerbal's listening to sounds like that as they're doing their little rockety things. Everything is being abandoned. Look how many are abandoned. Oh, man. <clears throat> I really don't know how to keep this from happening. Where is there not enough power? There, enjoy the tail of Patapon. <laughs> Let's see the tail of Patapon. <clears throat> Oh, cool. Um, opening gameplay video. Yeah, I'll favorite that so I can watch it later. That is really nice music. I must admit, that is quite nice music. Okay, where is the power? Where is there a lack of power? You have a working power grid. See, that's why I'm so confused, is it shows that the power grid is working just fine. And then you have the people go and complain... So yeah, um, feel free to give me pointers on how to not be a terrible mayor person, because look how many buildings are abandoned. I'm sorry, people. Has my population at least improved? Okay, so the population's gone up 3,000 since uh, I started. Now I want to hear Loco Roca music again. Well, share away. <laughs> I guess uh, today's theme is terribly unhappy citizens and uh, music. So I guess we can go with that. So yeah, go ahead and put some of that up. Oops, I just demolished one that was being built, my bad. Oh, do you know how to, uh, actually speaking of that, do you know how to put uh, music on in the background of a stream? Is like, is there a way to do that through Twitch or do I just need to have uh, something playing and do that through OBS? Do you know how to do that? Because that's uh, something I thought would be cool to do is have uh, music for some of this. Let me take a look at that one. Yeah, let me know if you know how to do music or if I just have to do it through OBS. I, listening to the music. Oh, that's nice. I like that. The Loco Roco music. 
So if I just played on my computer and then I just have an input um, in OBS, it would work. <laughs> that Loco Roco music, I love that. I was happy that. <laughs> but again, that's totally what the Kerbals would listen to. Can't you picture uh, Jeb and his rocket listening to that? The going back and forth. I wish I could play that, uh, figure out how to play that through the stream so that uh, people watching this after I upload it can hear it, the Loco Roco music. Let's see, more abandoned buildings because everyone's unhappy. Okay, that one's not abandoned. Yeah, those seem like perfect fun uh, spring slash summer uh, games to play. Speaking of summer, I think I asked you this before, but do you have any plans uh, this summer once uh, you're done with uh, school? Let's see. Hey, you don't need an input. Whenever you play something that people send links... Oh, really? I had no idea. So, oh, that's really cool. How, uh, how loud was that? Could you hear it on my end when I was playing it? I had no idea. Thank you for letting me know. That's really cool. Could you actually hear it when I was playing it, or was it too quiet since I turned all the um, audio inputs down? Let me click on one, and let's actually do a volume test. So I'm going to play that third one, um, and let me know if you can hear it. Well, I have a sip of my fizzy beverage. Yeah, this is totally Kerbal music, by the way. It's officially Kerbal music. Oh, cool. So you can hear me talking um, over the music, but you can actually hear the music loud enough for it to be uh, noticeable. That's really cool. I had no idea, so thank you for letting me know. That's totally interesting. I had no idea. <laughs> Let's see, more abandoned buildings. Abandoned buildings, I should say. Exactly. Or as uh, um, my best friend says, egg salad, right? That is really cool. I yeah, I really appreciate you letting me know because. Uh, that's just one of those things I never would have figured out unless somebody told me. So thank you for letting me know. That's, I'm going to have to incorporate that into the streams more. That's quite lovely. So thank you for that one. I had no idea. I probably should uh, look up the rules, though, regarding what you can stream as far as... Because you know how uh, strict um, YouTube is for copyright stuff. I don't want to mess anything up. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's see what people need. <clears throat> okay. Electricity is good. Water is great. Education. Uh, I do need some more schools, actually. It's because OBS is capturing the audio from your headphones. Okay. And obviously, that's where the sound's going. Cool. Very, very, very good to know. That is very good. Thank you. So, elementaries. I need another elementary. Let's put the elementary, will it fit there? Won't fit there. Weird smell coming from the apartment next door. Well, why aren't the dead people going away? Another school, <clears throat> then we need uh, high school, don't we? I like putting the high schools uh, next to the elementaries in this. I just, I picture that that's how it is uh, in the city um, in my book that the schools are really close, uh, closely tied together. Wait, we're going to get it. Yeah, I'll have to, uh, I want to. This music makes me so happy. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to look into what the rules are as far as music, uh, because obviously I upload everything to YouTube, and YouTube is so uh, strict on their copyright policies. I don't want to have all of my videos taken down or something. So I will look into that before I start doing it, but if I can figure out a way to do it and not have 
some sort of copyright strike or something, I'm going to be all over streaming music. Let's see. Okay, we are checking um, education still, weren't we? Where is education? Um, I, what's that zoned as? Uh, so this is a residential. Um, <clears throat> no schools there. Okay, let's go ahead and put another elementary. And another, wait, that's a university. We need another high school. Yeah, how can that music not make you happy? That would be like the most fun game to play as far as making you happy because you just sit there nodding your head to it the whole time. Also, there was a, was there really? It was awful. That's funny. Yeah, there, it's funny some of the games that you never realize come out on weird ways or systems, you know. Um, I had no idea there was something like that on the move. Okay, let's see. Citizen's happiness. <clears throat> okay. Pollution. Everyone looks happy. It was... <laughs> fire. Um, let's see. We probably do need another fire department up here, don't we? Uh, let's put one... Uh-oh. <laughs> what? What did you just remember? When you put it that way, that isn't. that's not very reassuring. Hopefully it's not something like my house is on fire and uh, I forgot to go fix it. Uh, stink water. Why do they have stink water? So now we have to worry about stink water. Let's see. Oh, so they have bad water. That's why. Why do they have bad water? Um, how do I know if there's bad water and how do i fix okay not sure why they have a bunch of stink water do they not have a drain um let's see so that weird i don't know why they have a bunch of okay uh going to check it out <laughs> I love the picture on that, uh, it's, uh, on the soundtrack cover there. The big old smiley globe. <laughs> Oops, wrong one. Okay, so let's see why we have stink water. Um, yeah, I don't know why we're getting stink water. Let's... Put one right there, and let's try and run a an outflow pipe. Okay, let me take a look at that after I do my outflow. Uh, let's see. Just a sec, let me give this some power. I wanna try and get it as close to the coast as possible. Hmm, less memories from this one. <laughs> there we go. Will that fix their dirty water problem, I wonder? I think that did. Hopefully, Yeah, I think that's why they were getting sick, is for some reason they were getting a bunch of dirty water. Let's see, what is this? Oh, Little Big Planet. I only played the first one. <clears throat> oh, what is that? That reminds me of something. What does that remind me of? Yeah, I could totally just do a stream where uh, we share uh, favorite g video game music back and forth. Oh, that would actually be fun just to have a stream where we just do uh, game music all the whole time. Let's see what this one is. Sonic Unleashed. Yeah, some of the Sonic games have um, really good music. Yeah, that is nice. Extended to play for 15 minutes. Oh, 30 minutes. Wow. So if we're on the uh, game music kick, uh, see if you can... You're never going to be able to guess, but see if you can take a guess at what um, video game song I have for my uh, phone ringtone. I'm just curious. Like, just completely out of the wild. 
you know, take a guess to see if you can figure out what I'm uh, using for my ringtone, and then I'll show you a link to it. My ringtone and my alarm, I should say. Two separate things. See if you can guess. And uh, they are, they're actual game songs. It's not like it's some weird random sound. So see if you can take a guess. I'm curious. <clears throat> okay, what else do we have? Pollution is pretty decent. Uh, traffic, okay, noise pollution, can't really deal with that. Hint, okay, um, I'm assuming you want a hint. Let's see, hint, okay. We've, one of them is something that we have talked about enough that you might be able to guess it, and the other is similar enough to what we've been talking about that you might be able to guess it. Hopefully that uh, helps a little bit. Uh, let's see, we were doing fire departments, right? I think I needed another one up. Actually, I think I need a big one right there. That should cover that. Yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll give you a couple guesses, then I'll show you, just for fun, because I love guessing. <laughs> what does that say? Crossroads and intersections, yeah, yeah. Um, the fire hazard up here is a little... Waluigi! <laughs> no, but uh, does Waluigi have a theme song? I'm not sure if Waluigi actually has a theme song. Though that would be pretty funny if he did. If Waluigi has a theme song, go ahead and let me know. But I will show you. Uh, let me see if I can find it really quick. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and play this on your end. This is, tell me if this is not the best alarm to wake up to. Go ahead and click on that one and tell me if that's not amazing for an alarm. <clears throat> Let's see, what fire? Yeah, I'm really surprised how dense the fire stations need to be. Oh no, is this... Uh... Oh, I thought you were going to give me a, a Waluigi theme song. <laughs> This is from uh, Undertale, right? Yeah, that's Undertale. Oh no, there is Waluigi. Oh my gosh. What the heck is that? What did you show me? This is like a Waluigi fever dream. It's horrifying and hilarious. <laughs> what is that? Oh my gosh, I did how? Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's some real scary stuff you gave me there. Who made that? That is, uh, yeah, uh, that is mega. <laughs> that is absolutely horrifying, but I love it. That's really funny. Thank you for sharing that. My day is now complete because I had a little dose of insanity. I can always uh, rely on you for showing me a little bit of Waluigi insanity and making my day that much crazier. <laughs> oh, I need to show you my ringtone, don't I? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, let me make sure this is it. Yes, okay, here you go. This is my uh, ringtone. Tell me what you think about that for a... Oh, need some power. And see, this is why uh, both of these are more or less close to what we've been talking about. That's why I almost thought you could get it. Let's see how I'm going to do this. That, really? That's not going to give it? Not going to get it that way? Um, I'm going to change my ringtone and alarm right now. Yeah, those are absolutely brilliant for that. I mean, that alarm, you know, most alarms after a while, you just, you go nuts because you hate them so much. Uh, for anyone who is for some reason not able to like hear it or check the links, um, my alarm I have set for the Morrowind, the Elder Scrolls Morrowind theme song. Which, in my opinion, is better than the uh, Dovahkiin version from Skyrim. It's just flat-out fact, that's the best version. Um, 
of that theme song. It's way better than the uh, Skyrim one. Absolute fact, can't argue it. It's just the better version, end of story. Yeah, of all the Elder Scrolls uh, theme songs, Morrowind did it the best. It's, uh, yeah, I could uh, go on with that one, talking about that one for a long time. Absolutely love that one. So how is everything building up? We still have sick people. What's, what's with their toilet water problem? Why is there drinking water? How do I download it? Okay, so I have an app. I don't know if you can get it. Let me show you what it looks like really quick. Um, it uh, They're all free downloads through an app. This Let me show you really quick once it loads up. Let me know if you can see that. Can you read that at all? So it's just an app where you can get a bunch of stuff. And it has... Uh, I just got it through the Google Play Store. Um, it was just one of the first ones I found. Whoop. Let's see what this one is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Screen going. No, 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 no. The Morrowind version is much better than the Skyrim version. Because you you know, obviously, it's the same, uh, like the same melody and tune, but it's just, you know, different version. No, the Morrowind song is so much better than the uh, Skyrim song. Yes, it is. <laughs> Let's see, 35, uh, let's see. Ah, uh, <laughs> I, I can see why people would like the uh, hard, um, so the Skyrim one just has so much, you know, it hits so hard, there's so much uh, impact to it. What is this? What the heck? That is uh, quite the voice. Whoa, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. I and uh, that he knows the lyrics. That's uh, that's actually really something. I still say, uh, never gonna change my mind. Uh, never gonna change my mind. The Moro one one is definitely the best. I do. I'm not saying I don't like the Skyrim, mind you. Um, I never said I don't like the Skyrim one. I really, really do like it. It really does get you going. But I just think the way the Morrowind one flows uh, is just so much better. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> I knew it was the same guy. Chocolate rain. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I knew that was the same guy. <laughs> That's funny. But it's Zedge. Uh, Z-E-D-G-E, -E, I think. Let's see. Is that how you spell it? Yeah. And it's through the uh, Google, or the, the just the Play Store. That's where I got it. Um, that's how I download it through my phone. Like I said, it's free. There are ads on it, which is annoying, but, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. And they do have a really good selection of game uh, it's, uh, notification sounds and ringtones. So there's a, I mean, a ton, a ton of Zelda stuff. Um, if you're looking for anything like that. Okay. Um, there. Uh, I obviously I don't have a link to it. I'm sure um, it's on the Google Play Store. Let me see really quick here. How about this? Yeah, here you go. I think uh, that should take you to it, but obviously you can get it through your phone. Um, no worries. Yeah, pick something good. There's so much Zelda. I mean, there are like thousands of Zelda songs and ringtones in there, so you should have plenty of options. Okay, so what is our water problem? I think... So is that an outflow there? That is... Now those are, uh, let's see. So those are uh, pumps pulling in, right? Where are we? I really, I'm having some major water issues. Maybe that's what the issue is, that these pumps are taking the dirty water and making everyone sick. 
hey princess <laughs> we were just discussing which elder scrolls uh had the best theme song by the way because that's totally related to both my book and city skylines do you have an input any input on which elder scrolls had the best theme song because uh, we were just debating that so those are intakes just make sure right oh man oh that is an out okay so that is an outflow uh and i'm just in the process of realizing that my city's a disaster by the way and everyone's drinking a bunch of sludge water let me uh so wait we needed a pump yeah let's reconnect this to the main line and hopefully that'll fix the dirty poo water problem oh i do need to give it some power let's see uh where's the nearest line i think they can go across the river but yeah welcome to the chat um as you'll notice i have a bunch of really unhappy residents does anyone else how to stop me peeing every time eh. <laughs> I'm sure Google could help you with that one. Uh, let's see. So those I do not want to connect. Uh, let's see. Um, hopefully that fixed my uh, dirty bathroom water problem. I think it's because that I had an outflow there that I didn't realize. Um, and the intake water. <laughs> Sweet. Good job. Yes. Uh, I've spent way too much time looking through ringtones. I like to try and change it up. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to change the uh, alarm, but I am going to, I do want to, I think I want to try and, you know, do like individual ringtones for each contact, or at least, you know, like my major contacts. <laughs> yes, but enjoy the amazing uh, game music on your phone. So let, let me take a look at my pollution here. Um, let's see. Um, let's see, where is pollution so does the water oh, where's the pollution here we go so yeah that's the outflow the new intake is right there and hopefully it won't be poisoning all my people <laughs> uh but of course more of the houses are being abandoned and of course we have uh dead people so i was uh looking for some good pokemon music to use but most of it is like the 8-bit or uh, you know the original Game Boy stuff. Are there any really, really good Pokemon songs that you remember, uh, Naga? Let's see. So that must mean that they need some cemetery stuff, right? Uh, let's see. How is the cemetery situation? Yeah, there's uh, no cemeteries over here. Let's go ahead and put one um, up against the wall there. I think that'd be a good place for it. And a crematorium. Hopefully that fixes the old dead body problem. Right? Lavender Town, yeah. <laughs> you mean the original Japanese version before uh, they changed it, right? That's funny. Pallet Town, yeah, Pallet Town. Um, yeah, actually, look and see. Uh, if you're looking at it, you should take a look and see. Um, but yeah, I should actually see if there's the original uh, Lavender Town theme. <laughs> That'd be funny. Uh, let's see. They do need power, I suppose. They want some power to their dead people factory. <laughs> um, okay. Our, how are we doing on making... What am I doing wrong? Everyone's so unhappy. See, that's what I don't get. Max Mason over here says that he had a great vacation in my poo city. Uh, and everyone else seems to be really happy, and yet they're leaving left and right. I could spend like the whole stream just destroying these buildings. Um, let's see. But yeah, I will totally take, oh crud. I will totally take a look <laughs> for Pallet, I mean uh, Lavender Town um, when I'm done with the stream later, just out of curiosity. Let's see, what is some other since I guess today's uh, we're talking about video game music, what are some of the other... I mean, Zelda, obviously, you could just say blanket that every Zelda song is amazing. Um, but what are some other games with really, really good music? Ah, you're rich. Hold on, sorry. Um, 
Let's see. I It's weird. It's like I'm having a brain fart now. I can't remember, you know, all of my favorites. Um, oh, man. Best game music. Best game music. As I'm destroying all of the houses. Uh, so, yeah. People are building new places as they're destroying them. That totally makes sense. Not a game. My new alarm is uh, Pink Panther. <laughs> that works. Yes, that's totally... <laughs> that's actually a really good one. That's funny. Uh, you can set your you know, text and email notifications with that. Um, I've got a little Pikachu. Uh, it actually sounds a lot like... If you can hear that. That's actually what my text notification sounds like. So every time someone texts me, I get a little Pikachu Pika. And I never get tired of that one because uh, I like to pick things that you don't get tired of. And it's funny, every time somebody texts me. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, anything else abandoned? Yeah, I don't know why my city isn't growing up faster. I think the major issue is that there's just not enough traffic coming in off the highways. Uh, let's take a look and see how our crime is doing. Crime rate is low, jails high. Well, I'm glad at least there isn't a lot of crime in my poor sad case of a city. Uh, let's see. Citadel Guard. I'm probably going to need one over here. And I'm going to do a larger one up here. Zed doesn't have... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, Zedge doesn't have quite everything. Oops. I think we need one right up on the coast. Keep all those uh, coastal miscreants in line. Oh, good heavens, more abandoned buildings. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so uh, next time, uh, when I uh, stream Kerbal later this week, I'm going to try and come up with a list of my uh, favorite game music. And I'll post a bunch of links if I can uh, remember most of them. I know, you know, there are so many good songs. It's like there are so many that I can't remember them. There are just, you know, too many. But I will definitely post some links uh, when I do my Kerbal stream later this week. So let me check what time it is. Okay. Uh, I've only got just a couple more minutes here before I have to wrap up the stream. And you probably need to go to bed anyway. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to finish up with some of these abandoned buildings um, before I wrap up. Now my note of <laughs> cast. I uh, seem to have created a monster, haven't I? Now you're going to spend all your time like I did looking through the best uh, game songs. <laughs> so you know how uh, when I actually went through <laughs> most of these is uh, at the beginning of the year, um, my uh, grandma got really, really sick, and she ended up in the hospital. And when Linda and I would go uh, visit her, um, you know, we'd stay there for a while. And while we were there, I would go through most of the ringtones. So that's when I went through, like, uh, you know, 200 different ringtones. Let me see which one you uh, just selected here. What have we picked? <laughs> Is that what you selected? Oh wait, you said they don't have it. <laughs> That's pretty good. I will admit that is a very good one. Yeah, so next time uh, when I stream Kerbal this week, come up with another list of really good songs and ringtones and I will do the same. And uh, no, but I want it so bad, yeah. And I'm going to try and figure out what the rules are as far as uh, playing songs in stream and then uploading to YouTube. Because like I said, I want to do that. I just want to make sure I'm not going to have all my uh, videos banned or something because of some sort of copyright infringement. You know what? I haven't saved this whole time. I think I should probably go ahead and save. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Um, and over my backup file too. And tomorrow... I'll <laughs> yes, enjoy your new uh, ringtones and alarms. Oh, crime. Let me just, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a couple um, police stations in here, and then 
I'm going to have to wrap up uh, the stream for today since, once again, I am on dinner duty. Okay, see if you can guess just randomly what we are having for dinner tonight. Since, you know, guessing games are always fun. Since we didn't have very many puns, we can at least do a guessing game. So see if you can uh, guess um, what I'm doing for uh, dinner tonight. Hmm, that's actually not... I don't like that. My old arm didn't have sound, so I uh, got used to hearing a vibrating phone. <laughs> Yeah, if you put a vibrating phone on something glass, it's a nightmare loud. So that would definitely wake you up. Let's see more. Let me put a big one over here. Fish and chips. Oh, man. Fry sauce and jello. Lovely. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Fry sauce and uh, So if you really want to get totally cliche and stereotypical, we could have some uh, fry sauce... Um, Jello and a little bit of honey, right? <clears throat> fish and chips does sound really, really good, though. I love fish and chips. Uh, no, we're having corned beef and cabbage. That's what we're having for uh, dinner tonight. A bunch of uh, we're having corned beef and cabbage with some uh, some biscuits. Yeah, the old fry sauce. It's so funny how everyone who joins the uh, stream never knows what fry sauce is. I just think that's absolutely hilarious. Oh, I, I take it. Oh, I take it by your oh, you're not a corned beef and cabbage fan. <laughs> most people aren't. I must admit, most people are not corned beef and cabbage fans. Uh, it's a sort of an acquired taste, I'll say. Uh, let's see, one more little one. But hey, I just went with what Family Guy said once. <laughs> uh, oh. Let me connect these to the power grid, and then I think that will wrap it up. Oh, hey, are we going to get it? Did we actually get it this time? Yeah, there we go. Cool. We have power. But I said, oh, because I never heard of that. Oh, really? Oh. Well, uh, I guess uh, to wrap up the stream, I will leave you. Let me see. Uh, here you go. Um, here you go. Be I will close the stream out with a link to corned beef and cabbage recipes. <laughs> because the way we do things here is uh, the more random, the better. Anyway, family go. Fish and chips. Fat guy's saying we're dying of food. Well, I, yeah, I haven't watched uh, Family Guy in so long. Looks good. Yeah, it's really good. Most people don't like it. Uh, you serve it with mustard, typically, um, you know, as the side, as the condiment. And I'm sure you know of mustard. Not fry sauce, but mustard, right? Um, but yeah, I, uh, I love it. Uh, Linda's not a big fan about it, or fan of it, but she's uh, having a dinner with her friend tonight. So um, I don't need to worry about that. So I'm having some corned beef and cabbage. Yeah, I mean, you know, might as well try it sometime. Uh, next time I stream, actually, uh, you'll have to send me some links if you have some of your uh, favorite dishes um, that you think I should try because, uh, you know, we, I like cooking a whole bunch of different uh, food. So let me know sometime if there's anything that I should try. Because I'm always looking... <laughs> I'm always looking for uh, new dishes. But uh, speaking of dishes, I've got to go prepare it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and close out the stream, but... I appreciate you joining me today. It was a lot of fun talking about game music uh, for some random reason. Oh, <laughs> hey, hey, Maelstrom. I was literally just about to close out the stream, so you caught it a little bit late. But uh, really quick, how are you doing uh, since last stream? <clears throat> Hopefully uh, you've been doing well. I was just saying that we were just talking about dinner. I was saying I was, uh, I've was i got to go get um, corned beef and cabbage ready. That's what uh, I'm doing for dinner tonight. Uh, anytime you quick over you. Yeah, let me just show you really quick before I end it. Uh, and I'm having some uh, little bit of problems. My people are unhappy and everything keeps getting abandoned. So... <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not sure quite how to fix that. 
Yeah, I think I, I can probably swing like two or three more minutes just to show you what it looks like really quick. Had a massive problem on my KSP stream. I don't know what happened. Like a problem with your stream or a problem with the mission? Memory. Oh, yeah. Do you uh, do your um, mods through CCAN by chance? Ooh, that's uh, terrible. <laughs> yeah, I had to completely reinstall uh, everything twice before my stream last week um, because of the update to the evolution mod. Um, ooh, the update to the evolution mod completely screwed everything up because I installed it incorrectly, so I just completely destroyed everything, so I had to redo it. It was a huge hassle. <laughs> so Naga and I were uh, discussing... Uh, video game music and I want to get see what you think what is the best version of the Elder Scrolls theme song which game had the best version so here is the city while you're answering that here's the city and yes this is uh, mimicked exactly um, after uh, the city in my book um, this is where the story mainly takes place that's uh, the main character's house right there but uh, just to give you an overview the residential areas are mostly over here and over here, and this is sort of a marketing area in the industrial area. Yes, it is a lot of roads because I'm trying to recreate the city <laughs> as much as I can. But my major issue right now is that up in the industrial area, everyone keeps leaving the buildings. You see how there aren't enough workers uh, and the, all the buildings keep getting abandoned. So I don't know how to keep that from happening. I've spent like half the stream just destroying all the buildings. And it's quite a little nightmare. Mass transit, really? Is that really, would that help? Like just putting mass transit in? Is that all it would take? Man, if that's all it's gonna take, also check your population, it's 30,000 down there, you see? There's a natural boom bust cycle. I, I This is the one area that I just can't, uh, I can't get on top of. I just, you know, have to spend half the time destroying everything. Zones and industry. Huh. You know, uh, if that works, hit escape. Click city statistics. Okay, let me uh, up here, right? Is that what you want? Or, uh, oh, okay. Which one do you want to see? Since you are the master of this, I will take any input that I can. <laughs> yeah, let me know which one you want to see here. Uh, let's see. Death rate. Um, yeah, uh, birth and death rate. Population changes, okay. Um, population, yeah, that's the pink one. Uh, let's see, what else? I have it obviously on the uh, unlimited money mode, so I don't have to worry about the budget. And I even went in and set some of the policies. I set uh, tax breaks. Oh, sorry, remove it. Okay. Death rate. Whoa! <laughs> uh, um, apparently we had a uh, little catastrophe there. <laughs> um, not quite sure what that's all about. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Whoops. My bad. All Sims live exactly the same. Oh, they do? Really? I didn't know that. A little bit of an issue there. Um, I will say that... Uh, Suddenly build up a large population, I believe. They always die at the same time. Huh, I didn't know that. Okay. I mean, they're fairly happy, I guess. Ish. Well, you know what? Uh, I think next stream, uh, so next week, I'll go ahead and work on um, the uh, mass transit and see how that helps. Because obviously my population, so I should say that when I started uh, the stream today, it was at 20,000. So it's actually gone up by uh, 10,000. Um, this stream so that's pretty good I've only been doing it for let's see about an hour and 40 so the population is going up um, it just I can't fix that up there even then you will get a not KSP but still fun to watch hey toxic what's going on also greetings yes unfortunately you guys are catching me literally at the end of the stream uh, today <laughs> um, but yeah I mean for you guys who haven't uh, read the book yet this is uh, the beginnings of uh, Freeport City um, where my book takes place. 
Naga's, uh, I think Naga's still here, so Toxic uh, Naga was joining us uh, for most of the stream. But yeah, so you guys, for those of you who have yet to read um, the book, this is uh, working on the beginnings of uh, Freeport City from the book where it all takes place. Um, this is where the book opens in the cemetery there. There's uh, the main character's house. Um, for if you guys get around to reading it, this is uh, Jonas's bar. Uh, Parks District down here, and then the arena um, where a lot of the action takes place is right there south of the city. So it's coming along nicely, and the population is increasing. Uh, but it's a lot harder than I thought. But I will be back to Kerbal uh, probably Thursday this week, and then next Tuesday for another round of this. Um, Maelstrom just told me how to keep everyone from uh, abandoning the buildings, and that's as simple as... Uh, mass transit so i'm gonna work on that but um yeah check out i think i want to say thursday um check my twitter feed for sure but thursday i'm probably going to do uh, more of my tests on kerbal um finishing up where we get some taxis and some buses and your population will go up cool but yeah if you guys want to no wait okay not uh, i'm gonna actually um quit the stream uh, but i'm gonna stay in chat so for everyone watching i appreciate it i will be in chat for a minute afterwards uh industry takes a lot of labor yeah i figured um, let's see. Unless, Toxic, there's something very specific you need to see in the game. I'll wait and see what you were saying no wait to before I close it, just to make sure <laughs> it wasn't something in the game you wanted to see uh, really quick. Also, don't make your people too smart. I just finished drawing my... Okay, then I can. So, uh, I appreciate everyone. I will see you guys next time, but like I said, I'll be in chat for uh, just a minute. But thanks again for everyone and uh, Naga for joining me for most of the stream. So, I will see you guys uh, probably Thursday.